does John Major, Jonathan Ross and Prince Charles have in common? The answer is this. Yes, of course, they're all fans of rock giant Status Quo, who after 28 years and 44 hits are rehearsing for another nationwide tour. It's a partnership which goes back to their school days. A landmark gig it was 28 years ago in Minehead at Butlins, wasn't it? What, oh, what yes. happened then? Well, uh, you I want to tell her? You tell yeah, her. I was doing summer season and so was, so was she. <laughs> um, I was in cabaret. Very nice. Bow tie really? and a, a silver lame jacket and all that. And he was in the rock and roll ballroom playing what I wanted to play. So we became pals. I suppose, I don't know, six months, seven months after Butlins, I got a phone call like, uh, would you like to join the group? So I said, yep, like you do. I joined the group and here we are. What is it that attracts you to each other? I just think he's just wonderfully good looking. That is probably it, really. He just thinks I'm good looking. No, I think it's the humour. When, when I first met you Rick... You won't get any sense out of me today, sorry. Uh, when I first met Rick, he was considered to be uh, a puff and homo and all that stuff, which was terrible at the time. It was True, because Only because he was slim. And, and hair. No, he just had blonde hair, and any poor sod with blonde hair then had to be something wrong with him, you know. It felt that he was closer to me or uh, akin to me, if you wish, mm. which is basically what most of, the, most of the thing of the band is based on now, is the, the humour between him and I. And what about the words, though? Classics, down, down, again and again. It takes a lot of learning. Where, where do they come from? T-Rex had a song at the time, years before, called Deborah or something. And he kept singing, Deborah, I thought, mm, needs something like that. So rather than put something really fabulously sensible, down, down, fitted, and I was going to go with that. I mean, sometimes it's got to be an it word or an at, at, at word. If you go with an ought word, you, to me, it's wrong. So I'd rather make the sound of the thing right than it the lyric. Sounds like a blinding song there. It's it, at, 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 Worried about things here because where are your denims? Stay off. We're yeah, working. absolutely. We're rehearsing, aren't we? You'd be sort of wearing no, them in. You want to, on you want a to day like get this. your hand in the trousers. We use the same jeans we've always used. And what are they? What? Old ones. I saw a guy in my stage jeans and I said I thought they'd fit me, and uh, I you bought them off him. I bought them off him. I gave him a pair of new jeans and uh, well, bought his. Well, you went up to a guy in the street and said I want those yeah, jeans that yeah. you're wearing. Yeah, I paid him two hundred pounds for them. Worst thing that's ever happened to you on stage. There must be a worse thing. I'm falling off it, really. Usually I mean, falling over. Yeah, exactly. Many, many years ago, we used to uh, we used to have a, a fair old drink before we went on. I mean, this is when we were doing the smaller places. Yeah. And uh, him did. and I, we'd had a half a bottle of scotch each or something before we went on. You know, and we we're laughing and giggling. We get on. We're literally 10, 15 seconds into the first song, and I hear bang, crash, and he just walked off the side of the stage. He's fallen off it. He's in a heap on the <laughs> Straight side. off the side, yeah. Well, guys, you know. It makes you wonder, really, doesn't uh, it, how you're still here? If you want to see Status Quo on stage, they're playing the Rivermead Centre Reading next Tuesday and Wednesday, and then Wembley Arena on December the 18th and 19th, where tickets cost from £14.